So the team behind Procreate did a massive update to the app, but this time we're talking about Procreate Pocket, the small but mighty version for the iPhone. The all new Procreate Pocket is now packed with many many features from Procreate on the iPad, along with a totally new interface rebuilt from the ground up on the new Valkyrie engine. So today we're going to take a look at these new features, improvements and my abilities of drawing a little character with my fingers. My name's Leo and you're watching Ghost Paper, so now let's get to it. So here's a list on the screen of all the new features and improvements that have been added to Procreate Pocket. It goes from now being able to work in high definition files with 16K by 4K to the new dark mode, over 190 brushes to choose and modify with a powerful brush studio, and the list goes on and on, it is truly a massive update. I've only had a couple days to play around with the beta while making this video, but here are some of the best things i found so far. Interface improvements. Not only now you can save some good battery life on your phone by switching to dark mode, which by the way looks really really good on the iPhone, and the new card system makes the UI much more compact and refined by having these cards sitting at the bottom of the screen. You can now see all of the panels and sub-panels of each card as you move through the UI, as well as dragging them up or down if you need some extra space in order to read them better. I actually went ahead here and created that custom canvas of 16K by 4K on my phone and I can confirm that yes, it does work even if all you get is 4 layers. The Valkyrie engine comes into this version to help you give that smooth 120 frames per second, meaning that now Procreate Pocket can move as fast as you can draw, paint or sketch. One of the major updates here guys is the addition of the powerful brush studio now onto Procreate Pocket. I also went ahead here and chose the same brush on both versions of the Procreate Pocket and Procreate for the iPad and comparing screen by screen besides the settings of pen pressure, which I couldn't compare since I don't really have a third party stylus for my iPhone currently, everything else is in here. Down to every slider and down to the shape source selection that comes in both apps. This means that now I can create and tweak any custom brush that I use on my professional illustrations from my mobile phone and then upload it to the cloud. Now for all the animators out there, Giphy enthusiasts and Instagram sticker designers, Procreate Pocket now also comes with the amazing animation assist tool, which enables the famous timeline at the bottom of the UI while giving you more freedom to bring your artwork to life. As we tap on settings here, you can see that we get the same options and helpers such as onion skin and playing speed as we have on the iPad version. Here on the screen I've just imported a few examples of animations that I had created on my iPad and into here Procreate Pocket and both have opened super fast and are playing with no lag at all. Even this one which is fully created with the help of layer masks on every single frame. The new transform tool and snapping tools are also here which means that all those seamless pattern tutorials are now also possible on Procreate Pocket. Just head up to the transform menu, then tap on settings, and finally on snapping, you should see the same options of magnetics and snapping, including the distance and velocity sliders. All the color picker modes are now also here in Procreate Pocket, including the powerful color harmony that helps you discover perfect color matches from a starting base color. I have several dedicated tutorials that touch on these points that I've just mentioned here so far in this video, so I'll leave them here on the top right section of the screen so that you can check them all later on. Here in the color section, one of the most exciting additions is the palette capture function. Now you can extract colors from a photo in your camera roll or even pictures that you take it outside, turning this into an exciting world of possibilities where you can create so many different palettes from the world around you. Now moving into filters, all the new Procreate 5X filters are here. Bloom, Glitch, Half Tone, Noise, and Chromatic Aberration. These are super fun to try and to add a couple of these into your illustrations. For color adjustments, we now also have the ability to use gradient maps to completely change the hues and temperature of your scenes. We now also have the reference tool for looking at either a reference photo or to guide yourself around your illustration, as well as for those of you who have iPhones with the front camera facial recognition features, you will be able to use the face paint feature, 
which can be really fun if you play around with animations in Procreate Pocket. This update is free for all existing Procreate Pocket users and it will be available on the Apple Store starting today for a one-time payment of $4.99 US dollars, which is much less than many app monthly subscriptions out there. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these reviews, tutorials and tips and tricks and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen there's always more content for you to watch, one is my latest upload and the other one is a video that YouTube is recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one, ciao.